Hey everybody, welcome back to Tenzin Motorsports. I'm really excited about today's video because we are doing some metal valve covers. Now I've been wanting to do some of these for a long time. There was a company a while back that used to make them. They stopped doing it and they just kind of went radio silent. And I've always had people give BMWs issues like, oh, they've got plastic valve covers. How does that work out? Well, it's worked out really good until just recently, and we'll talk about that soon. Before we get into that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you are following us on Instagram, Ted's underscore motorsports. This car up here is our M54 swapped M3. You can follow that Instagram, Nikki underscore nightmare 46. We are doing some giveaways this summer. Stay tuned, that video should be up really soon. I think you guys will like it. We're actually doing two different ones. So this metal valve cover here is something that I bought off of Amazon. And the products that I purchased off of Amazon, I try my best to go through the reviews and then talk about some of the things people are saying about it. Most of these complaints have been that it was damaged when it got there. And when I started to do a little bit more research, people were complaining about scratches. I'm not really worried about that. I know that if it's a daily driver, that can be an issue. Like this one right here has got a paint line. It looks like the paint was slightly messed up and then they had to you know, retape it or something. To me, that doesn't matter. This car doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter. Most engine bays are dirty enough that even if it was in perfect condition, you'd never see it because it it just gets dirty. So for me, as long as it's not being actually physically damaged, like that this edge here along the underside, as long as that isn't like chipped or cracked or there's no holes in it, I honest, I personally don't care. The other review that I saw said that it didn't have any baffling for the CCV system. The first thing I did when I got these in the mail was make sure that they weren't broken. So that's why this has already been opened up. Uh, this was literally all that was in it. You've got this rubber gasket here uh, and the one that goes around the edge. So these two and then this one. I pulled this cover plate off to make sure that this wasn't just a sealed box. And it is not a sealed box. There's a hole over here and then the vent that goes to your CCV over there. So I'm, I'm confused about why the one review said that there wasn't any uh, baffling for the crankcase ventilation system. So kind of confused about it. These are cheap. I couldn't believe how inexpensive this was. Now I do have a M56 valve cover. Those sell online for around two to 300 bucks used, uh, depending on the condition. And what's nice about those is the CCV system actually is all just right here. So you don't, you don't have to have the original M54 system. The reason I didn't do that is because I wanted to do a catch can system and better for the car. And these are so inexpensive that I, I was worried they were gonna sell out of them. When I saw it, I was like, I, can't, I couldn't believe they were only 170 bucks. You can spend more than that on a plastic one, on the original ones, OEM. So I'm probably going to take the M56 one that's out in the backyard and try to find somebody to sell that to. But I bought two of these because it kept saying, you know, there's only five or seven left in stock. And I, I don't know if that's a ploy to be like, oh, there's only so many left, you better buy them. But I, anyways, I just can't believe it. I just wanna talk about the plastic ones real quick. If you keep them in good condition, they can last a long time. I've been running mine with a boosted engine and I, I, that obviously strains it a little bit. And if you're running a turbocharged system, like we'll eventually run on this car, if you've got the turbo coming up, it's gonna sit inches from one of these. And if you have the plastic one, you'll warp it. Mine, I believe, has been warped just because it's old. When you put in these nuts that go around the edges here, uh, when you tighten those down, they're, I don't know, what, eight inches apart from each other. And so you'll start to get warping that goes like this. And you'll basically just, you'll have a slow leak. You could have a brand new gasket and it's still just gonna just leak a little bit. And I think that's what mine is doing right now. It's not a ton, it's not like, you know, coming down and burning off on the exhaust manifold or anything like that. But I, I have noticed that it was a little bit wet. I don't wanna get ahead of myself uh, before I say, you know, oh, this is fantastic product, but I don't see any real downside to this. As long as it doesn't leak, you're not out anything. So let's get this installed. Um, I'm gonna pull the original one off. We'll look at them side by side and then I'll get it installed. So let's get that done.
All right, so the original valve cover is off. I feel pretty good. I only lost one 10 millimeter socket and I pulled the cover off in 15 minutes, which, well, I was gonna say that it's pretty quick, but I guess I am missing like a bunch of pieces in the back that normally makes it more difficult. So it's probably not a very fair comparison, but I got it off in under 15 minutes. That's with the strut bar and everything. So yeah, anyways, Let's go take a look at the old valve cover compared to the new one. All right, here they are side by side, and I spent quite a bit of time looking at the two gaskets, and honestly, they look absolutely identical. Uh, I'm still debating whether or not to reuse my old gasket, just put that back in there and put this, this new one into a bag and just hold on to it till later. Where the CCV system poles is in the same location, so it, there's a little hole right on the back side of there and there's a little hole right there on this one and then um yeah i just i'm just gonna move the parts over and we'll get this reinstalled just the way we took it out so there we go fits like a glove here's the old cap what I did was I removed the gasket out of the new one and I put it in the old one. Only because I like the older style better and they look like they fit the exact same. So I pulled my old gasket out, put in the new one, and hopefully that will seal up just fine. From here, all I'm gonna do is put the engine covers back on. I did have um, a review on Amazon saying that the, the engine cover didn't fit quite right. So I wanna try that out real quick. And as long as everything goes well here, I've got one more over there in that box and this car is gonna need one too. So obviously I won't need to really show that process, but I'm doing it on both cars. So I'm gonna get this one put together the rest of the way. I'm gonna start the car, make sure everything looks, feels and runs right. And then we'll be doing it times two. All right, well, I feel kind of dumb because the set came with new ones of these and I just didn't look at the bottom of the box. But the ones that are on my race car and the ones that are on this car are like brand new because I think I bought two sets at the same time. So these, have, these gaskets have literally been sitting on this car for, I don't know, four or five months. So it's not like it's a big deal, but just keep in mind that it does come with a set of these. Uh, I'll probably replace them just because the nut and the bolt look a little bit better conditioned, but the gasket, same thing. I'm going to put all of these in a, in a bag and just put them to the side until later. But yeah, it's cool that they came with this, but I just totally spaced it. You know, honestly, when you're looking at this kit, this kit, I think, I don't know, 150, 170, something like that. That's really not that bad. You're going to spend between these and new gasket set, you're, you can spend 50, 60 bucks. If you go full OEM, I'm sure you can find ones that are, I don't know, close to $100. So you're already a third the way there when you purchase getting new gaskets. So I don't know, I think it's a good deal. I think it's a good buy. I did drive the race car out, the white one. That's why this car is now down and it started up just fine. Everything looks good. So really happy with it. We're gonna time lapse this. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Any comments or questions, if you have any experience with these, or actually I'm kind of curious to know if there's anybody out there who has, uh, I can't even remember what brand they were, but, but like, I don't know, 10 years ago, there was another company who was making metal valve covers. I'm curious to know if anybody else has one of those that watches any of my content. And if you do, uh, who made them? How much were they? You still like it? Does it have the same design on the inside as these ones do? Just curious to know. As always, everything will be linked down in the description below. Thanks again. Comments or questions down in the comment section below. We'll see everybody in the next video. Damn!